good morning welcome back to Yorkshire Motor Homers um, I just thought I'd give you a little update on the uh, error code I was getting on control panel uh, for the Truma heating system um, I've just been up to the compound um, and I had uh, luckily there was a, an engineer locally um, just down the road a couple of miles down the road who said he'd come up kindly come up and have a look and see what it, it was um, so we met this morning I told him the story that it happened before um, and it seemed to, to write itself um, and just to remind you that there was um, explanation for error code reading 89 um, so the engineer had come across this problem before um, said what it is is the build up of carbon um, as the motor is going round um, it creates it carbon uh, off the bushes um, which build up and the simple way of getting round that is to get into the boiler um, where, where it's housed um, and if you can get to it is to just gently tap it with a like a toffee hammer um, and just give it a tap I'll show you um, exactly where I mean right so I've, I've got the um, the um, instruction manual out and uh, let me just show you because it, to show you in the um, where the boiler is housed on this motor home it's it, well it's completely covered you've got to take the inspection cover off and then from the inspection cover you can only see part of the boiler so you to take part of the a, a huge panel off uh, which has been taken off but I'm not going to do it now because it's nicely put back together but I can show you on the instruction manual just what um, what we did so if I just take you around here and there's um, a drawing of the uh, of the uh, boiler so this is the fan motor this bit here now the first thing we noticed was that this grill you can see that there this um, grill face it had come off so that's there to stop dust um, from going into the motor so that could have been part of the problem so what we needed what the engineer suggested we do um, before going to the second choice and changing this motor um, was to try tapping it so if I just go back a couple of pages and we've got this uh, cut out cut away drawing um, of the motor now this is the front bit here and, and that's the grill what we should fallen off and this is the motor here um, and the carbon builds up on the inside here um, and it, it, it can just stop it from working so just behind these two big wheels here that bit there at the end of my thumbnail is exposed at the back and that's the bit you have to tap with a, a, a toffee hammer uh, and that is about 30 32 mil 35 mil uh, exposed so you've got to be fairly accurate so it's best that you know you, you you have plenty of light shining so you can see and it just needs gentle taps um, and what what the engineer did is set the control panel to vent um, so it's just blowing uh, air through it's not going to warm any water it's not going to uh, warm the uh, habitation area all it does is just blow cold air through now at first that wasn't working and um, it says that it's, it, that should work um, and it, it, this is said makes him believe that it is a carbon buildup in this area here so it went round to the back um, and he could hear the the motor just going ever so slowly very quietly and he tapped this area here a couple of times and straight away it freed it up so the motor's running he let it run for a while uh, and everything seemed to be okay so then we shut the system down 
um, because we're up on the compound this is right we'll, we'll see if we can get it going on gas um, so we get it going on gas it starts up all right and then another error code comes up uh, 212 212 error code which is uh, low gas pressure so unfortunately my my gas bottles were low I have two, I have two gas bottles on on this motorhome um, one is um, empty and the other one is um, empty uh, so um, oh, there, there was a little bit of gas in but there was wasn't enough pressure um, to um, to, to run to run the boiler so we hooked up uh, fortunately he had a, a gas bottle we hooked up his gas bottle um, and, and started the system up then and it, it run beautifully um, so we let it run for a good half hour while we put everything back and checked everything through he says you should be okay he says if it happens again you know what to do if it happens again after that he says you're gonna to have to get a new motor to put on there's a problem with the motor probably so working on gas fine so what i've done now is i've, I've brought it down home brought the motor home down uh, just to see if it's going to work all right on electric so let's go and have a look um and we'll put on the system at the over the control panel right here we are um control panel so we'll turn it on there we are now the van is hooked up um, I'll just put it down to 20 degrees for now uh, we'll put the water on eco no, in fact I'll put it on hot because I want to run the system through um, I've got it on electric too now if I put it onto mix it won't work because I've got low gas uh, I'm low in gas and it's, uh, there's not enough pressure there to run the system so I'll put it on uh, electricity too and we'll put the fan on I and let's see what happens Right, I wondered why there was nothing, uh, nothing was happening, and um, I just realised I'd, I'd set, I'd set the temperature to twenty degrees, uh, and nothing's happening. But when you look on the control panel there, um, inside this van, it's twenty-five degrees. It's over twenty-five degrees. So I've reset the temperature on here to twenty-eight just for this uh, exercise, um, and I put the water onto hot, like I say. Um, so, if we go down to a vent, which we've got one down here, you might just be able to pick up there that uh, noise, the heat is uh, uh, blowing warm air through. So we're just going to let this run for a while and, uh, and see how things are. So. Right, so the system's been running now for about 20 minutes. So let's just go and see what we uh, what's been happening. Um, I've just had it. I've had it on heater um, as well as water, but I've had to turn the heating bit down because it was uh, it's getting so warm in here now. So as you can see, the temperature's now gone up to. Uh, 27 just over 27 degrees so um and there we are just looking at uh that the water's on boost so I'll just check the water turn the handle to hot Yeah, we've got nice warm water there, going hot now. Okay, I'll turn that on to hot. 
Yeah, we've got hot water running in there. And into the shower. Stand back for this one. And lovely hot water there. So we seem to have got um, all the systems up and running now, which is a relief. Okay, so just to summarise um, what uh, we've done, um, we believe the engineer believed that it was a build-up of carbon, so we're trying this option first. Um, it's tapped the back of the fan motor because he believed there was a build-up of carbon in there after a couple of taps um, the fan burst into life um, on the vent mode uh, that was just in the vent mode once we sorted out the the gas problem uh, the system was working fine on gas we let that run for about half an hour uh, running on the gas mode up on the compound um, and then the system they warmed up the van nicely um, so I, br I brought it down home hooked it up to the mains uh, to test it working on the electric um, and everything seems to be working fine on there so hopefully um, that will solve the problem um, and I won't have to buy um, a, a fan motor so we'll see how it goes I'll keep you updated on that but for anyone who has this problem I hope this has been uh, of some help um, and if anybody wants uh, any further questions just drop something in the comment box uh, and I'll do my best to, to help you out on it uh, if I've not made everything clear in this uh, video um, so um, all that remains me uh, to do now is uh, first get some gas so we can run on gas uh, we can run on mixed mode um, although we shouldn't have to do that in summer um, and get some sites booked um, uh, in the UK because I understand the Caravan and Motorhome Club sites will be opening on the 4th of July um, we have got uh, a site booked up at uh, on the North Yorkshire Moors at the end of July uh, but we might add to that, we might just alter that around and uh, I'll show you that in a in a, another video. So um, I hope you found this helpful um, and like I say, any questions, if I can be of any further help, just drop your uh, questions in the drop, in the comments box uh, and I'll do my best to, 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 to help. Uh, so for this episode, I'll say goodbye and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh,